What's up, dogs and doggets? Welcome back to our Blocky Load Gameplay with Boy, Hark Dog 25, and the Cog Wheel. I am the Cog. Dude, you need help already? We got five minutes till the game starts. You don't need help right now. Anywho, coming in this Cog Wheel, I got the new skin out. You can see it's the camo skin there on the bottom left. <laughs> uh, I love the new skins, they're great. They are great. If you have enough gold, make sure you purchase a couple of them. Or maybe it's platinum. Is it platinum for the skins? Either way, if you have enough platinum or gold, uh, definitely get some skins. Make the game a little bit more fun. A little bit more interesting. So I'm coming to this cogwheel. I had a couple requests for cogwheel. So I'm going to throw a cogbra uh, gameplay out there for you. And yeah, we're going to have some fun. And I'm going to put some serious, serious radar dishes up. You know what I mean? We want to know if these guys are coming. There we go. We'll brick it in. Token it. A little way over the corner here. I feel like uh, on this map, especially putting them in the far corners. Because they can come from pretty much anywhere. So it's good to get that stuff. Uh, get a wide sweep. And then actually behind as well um, is necessary because they come around they try and shoot the cube from the top um, of your own spawn point back there and there's not much you can do you don't know they're there but if you put radar dishes you know where everything is you know where the respawns are all that good stuff so let's throw that there all right let's go back here to this corner There we go. Yes. Perfect. I'll throw that up. Doink. Oh, wow, we're getting a Russian guy on our team. Pro Russian. Alright, I'm going to put up two more. Then I'm going to do some serious work uh, with some bricks, get some mortars up. And then we'll start dominating. Alright. There we go. I think we got a pretty good spread. There's one little gap here that I actually want to fill. I only have 500 bricks though. Uh, running out of currency. Got enough for one more. Un mas. Oh, you spotted an elephant? Yeah, really. Cool. Cool, bruh. Stop that green soldier. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, we got a good spread of uh, radars. It'd probably be good to put one more up to the front. Uh, kind of fill in that little front gap there. Of course, that's a good move. Taking this out, this probably would have been a good idea to do right away. Thousand bricks, there we go. We got the scientists, I think, help me work on this. I don't think we're going to be able to clear it in the minute that we have, but we can sure try. Um, but I'm just doing these cuts so you got to get some extra bricks so that's why that's why I'm trying to do these cuts real quick um, yeah anyways uh, I got some good perks on I got uh, uh, shield reach I get a shield after I kill a hero um, then I have increased health as you can see my health is 230 there in the middle of the screen instead of the regular 200 so that's actually really nice as well there we go. I think we can get this done actually with four people working on it. Perfect. There's a thousand bricks. Take that out. All right, I'm gonna get my mortars. I'm gonna put the mortars right here. A lot of people like putting the mortars like way out in the middle of nowhere. Not a good idea actually. Put them where your 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 base can defend them. 
Just makes it a little bit easier on your team. There we go. Very nice, very nice. Take that one out. Oh, gather yeah, grass block. Well, apparently, there we go. I was going to say, I should be able to use it. Then I'll put a few of these bad boys here. Wait, where is he? punk okay so then I like doing this as well on this map because you know they like coming over in certain areas so you try and set up a few little landmines here for them all right good we got it we got our scientist back there you know he's keep an eye on that boy Actually, let's go up here. Nah, we don't want to put one there. We'll put one here, though. Darn shinobes. Cogwheels don't like shinobis. All right. Run! Man, Cog, you are slow, brah. Where you at? Runner. Wimp. Run away from the Hark Dog. I can't get no Probably the best move you ever did make in your lifetime. So let's get up uh, and start doing some damage here. Ooh. Nice. Hmm. Let's just jump in the water. Boosh. Okay. So I'm going to go all the way around. And... What I am going to do is going to get under their base with a little tunneling technique I like to call drill. And then once we start getting into their base, I'm going to do a rain of fire underneath them with my mortars. And we're going to have ourselves a fun time. So our scientists is there. I, I could probably put up a radar dish and see what they got for defense. Holy cow. Oh, we got the stiff bricks here. All right. Well, that's all right. We'll just keep going through. All right. Well, actually, they got a radar up this far. Well done. Well done with the radars. The more radars you have, the better. Because then you get more sights. You can see where they're tunneling, all that good stuff. So it's definitely good to have the radars I'm gonna put this up see they got Toretto I don't think that they have any radar producing characters all right well I'm gonna put up a radar dish as soon as I get enough uh, and then I'm gonna rain terror from underneath. This also works well with Asherella. If you can be an Asherella. All right, so this is gonna give us a lot of good stuff here. Is there a guy right next to me? Oh. Oh yeah, check this out. See, they don't even know it's gonna come. Now we hit our F ability. Here we go. Now it's just gonna come rain down on top of them.
There we go. Yeah. I hear all those traps being taken out there. Another 60 seconds. So we're going to tunnel all the way around here. We're going to come up the back side. Because uh, you just don't want to pop on in the middle of their base from a tunnel. Because they're going to be like, oh yeah, well then they're going to find your spawn point. I got 36 more seconds of my next bomb drop coming. Perfect. Alright, so let's go up here. I think we're back far enough. pop out here. Alright, we're going to emerge here at some point from the underworld. It's probably better to actually put... Oh yeah, there's the wood. Perfect. Oh, look at this. Oh. All right, so I'm gonna go down here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna destroy this spawn point here. Cause boy, you can. Here we go. Get another volley up. Then I'm gonna put the. Cause they got so many turrets there. This is going to be the best spawn point, by far. Yes. Alright, now I'm going to... Tell them that I got the new spawn up. Look at all those turrets, you see that? Wow, we can't really go right out there for that. Wow, they don't even know we're here. This is so funny. I gotta, I don't want it to just pop out on the inside. There we go. All right, we're gonna pop out on the outside. Perfect. Perfect sneaky. Get some turrets. We're gonna take care of all these turrets. Wow, this is they had a crazy defense set up. Yeah, keep keep doing that. Keep doing that Toretto. Whoa! <laughs> Just raining terror on these guys. Oh, no, I'm out. Knife that guy. Got him. Alright. Whoa! Damn. Direct TV killed me. That's all right. We took care of so many, so many of their turrets. Wow. That was awesome. They had to have 15 turrets built there, which is ridiculous. And they're all facing the opposite direction. It was actually pretty good. But they didn't know that uh, the dog was coming. Ugh. Get some turrets. Do a little jump shooting here. 
What are you doing, dude? Oh, fuel, yeah. Oh, damn it. <laughs> that mortar's come down <laughs> right on our respawn point. <clears throat> I didn't even get a kill for that, did I? Okay, I got the assist. Four dimes already. Not bad. Let's see how uh, our scientist is doing here. He's hanging out. Well, all our entire team is dead. I'm back in a second, though. All right, here we go. Oh, you got me. Ah! Where are you, Pyro Dave? Got him. I need that health. You! Health thief. Ooh, there's health right here. Uh, oh, I can't throw that thing. We used to be able to throw it. I mean, you're spending a lot of bricks. No, I killed myself. Uh, I gotta get... I'm gonna go back under their base. Now I know where all their turrets are. I can't just keep arcing them in there. I gotta keep rebuilding them. See, he, he's sniping the base. Snipe, get him, dude. I got 30 seconds here. I gotta figure out where all these turrets are. I think they're right here. Or not. Okay, I see him. Hmm. I got four seconds. I'm pretty sure they're right here. Whoa! I am lagging so bad. Oh, there we go. Ha! <laughs> that was weird. Yes! <laughs> I killed Finchy Fish with the mortars. Oh, man. That was a pretty fun little match. We'll take the win. Take the win however we can get it. Didn't do too well overall, but... Level up four? Not bad, not bad. Gold bonus, 200. All right, well, I won five and three. That's not too bad. Uh, so it shows what you can do with Cogwheel. Um, you get under their base, you throw the mortars. Um, his secondary weapon, uh, left click, uh, Arkin arcing those nades and just destroying so many turrets. I must have destroyed like 20, 25 turrets that game. Uh, but that's what you gotta do. You gotta get behind their base, get that spawn point down, and lo and behold, you get the victory that way. So, hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time. Take care. What's up, dogs and nuggets? Thank you so much for watching this amazing block and load gameplay. If you enjoyed that one, maybe you'll enjoy some of the gameplays from my beta playlist or from the release playlist. And if you have not done so already, hit the subscribe button for me. It'll make me feel all warm and fuzzy. Tony Toretto style.